Where is it? Where is it? It's right there. We're gonna try the spear. I'm gonna wait until it's... It starts running at me. Come on. Oh shit. I knew that was gonna happen. Uh, it's smart. Um, that was a lot of noises. Alright. Okay, thank god. We're actually pretty close. I couldn't remember if we had to go through another map location or not. I'm really glad we don't. Because I really want to get to this lodge before I end this recording session. Because I really want to, you know, say in this arc, <laughs> this like three part whatever, we we did the spear. Because I do want to move this along a little bit. I'm not sure how much longer this game is. And I absolutely do want to finish it. I am really enjoying this. I've never played through Winter Mute, and I do want to see how it ends. But I also am wanting to start something new. Just kind of... I've got... I've been playing a lot of stuff. I've been seeing people playing a lot of stuff. I love horror games, and, you know, my month is coming up. October is coming up. It's August, guys. You know what that means? It's fucking Halloween. <laughs> That's what I'm really looking forward to is Halloween, October, my birthday, fall, all of the insects dying. I hope they just fucking freeze to death. I hope every single mosquito freezes to death in the coming month, alright? I've been covered in mosquito bites and they've been so bad this year that they've like swollen up to the size of like golf balls and I'm not even exaggerating. Part of that is just because my skin is as delicate as Mackenzie's bones, but... <laughs> The mosquitoes have also just been exceptionally bad out here, and it's been fucking sucking. I am ready for the season to be over. I am ready for cool, cool, crisp autumn to be here. I want to be able to drink coffee, like my little peppermint mochas. I'm ready for those. I'm not a pumpkin spice kind of person. I actually hate cinnamon, and pumpkin spice has cinnamon, and a lot of those, like, autumn drinks have cinnamon, but a lot of times these places will also often have other fun flavors that I'm a fan of, like s'mores, those are good. I also haven't had, I've never had Starbucks's like crazy like token Halloween drink, like witch's brew or whatever, which I've heard has been kind of disgusting, but it's in my blood, I'm required to taste it. So I'm hoping to do that this year. Ah, oh, but we're gonna sprain something. I can already feel it. Um, I'm ready for autumn. I'm ready for the days. I have a fireplace. I've got a dog that I can cuddle up with. I'm very excited to see Athena and Ares like play in the snow this year. Um, I don't know if we'll actually even get snow. <laughs> we almost never do. But it, you know, it's a fun thought that I would like. Because she's, she's got very short fur, so I'm going to have to get her, like, a sweater. And I am very excited for her to be an adult. An adult-sized, so that I can buy her things. Ah! Fuck. I actually yeah, jumped at that. Be careful. The spring <laughs> wrist could mean death out here. I know. We need bandages and pain covers. Bandages. <sighs> is this a painkiller? This is a painkiller. Uh, but yes, as I was saying, I was talking about my dog. Well, how dare you interrupt me? Um, but right now she's a puppy, so she's gonna grow out of everything. So we've, you know, bought cheap collars and actually fairly expensive harnesses, but the harnesses will resize to her size. But like, cheap collars and stuff like that, because when they outgrow them, you know, I don't want to spend 40 bucks on a collar that's going to be outgrown in, you know, two, two, three months. So, when she gets older, she's going to have fun little sweaters for the winter time so that she can stay warm. She already gets cold in the house, and it's like 70 degrees in the house. Um, but I'm excited for fun dog things. It's nice having, you know, a dog in the house, even now we have 
birth to somewhat unexpectedly and I'm going to be taking care of them on my own for a couple of weeks tomorrow. Actually, starting tomorrow, my mom's going out of the country for a couple of weeks for work. So I'm going to have the house to myself and two dogs. And now I'm going to, I'm hoping they're going to start sleeping through the night here pretty soon. Because I've been getting up at midnight and my mom gets up at three to take them out. And then I get them up at seven, six or seven, when I get up. Oh, boy. So, Aries does pretty well. We actually think he's younger than Athena, but uh, it's actually really funny. He's lost all of his canine teeth at the moment because he's had baby, baby teeth. So he's dropped all of his baby canine teeth, so his mouth is like very funny <laughs> like they, when he like barks or like bears his teeth like playing it's it's so goofy looking um there's the hunter's lodge but yeah aries has lost a ton of teeth in like the week that we've had him athena hasn't lost any which makes us believe that she's got her adult teeth um, we actually think she might actually be a little older than the shelter thought she was they were saying about five months, we're thinking maybe six or seven, because she, we don't think she has any more baby teeth, which lends to be closer to seven, while Aries has lost a fuck ton, which puts him closer to four or five months, maybe, closer to four, which they thought he may have been four or five. Um, but it means they both have a lot of growing to do. Aries more so. He's very lanky right now. He is all leg. All leg and ears. He's got satellite dishes for ears. It's actually very adorable. It's the first thing people comment on when they see him is his giant fucking ears. Alright. Hunting. Hunting watch. Back to the game now that we've walked for however fucking long. Let's see what this dude has to say about the spear and what our next mission is going to be. He looks better. Did you find it? The legend might be bunk, but the spear is real. Maybe the legend is also real. Let's hope so, for your sake. Yeah, the bear is definitely tracking me. You have any luck with the radio? I did. Did you see the lights in the night sky, the aurora? Well, when that flared up, the radio came to life. Just lit up started spitting out noise, but it was all gibberish. Bits and pieces of things. Music. Talking. I think it needs more range. A more powerful signal. Called it. If we could find a way to boost the signal strength when the aurora is active, we might be able to get a message out. Well, let me guess. You have an idea. <laughs> You're starting to get it, Mackenzie. I was digging through some old geological survey maps. Those look like military insignia stamped on there. Focus, Mackenzie! Now, this survey shows a series of radio transponder towers that cross back and forth across Great Bear. Now, why would those be there? Good question. But for another time, we can use these. How? Each tower has some electronics that had served like a signal booster to make sure the message gets to the next relay. Okay. Well, you get me two, maybe three of those, and I might just be able to rig us up our own signal booster. You might, huh? And I guess I need to do this while old Bear decides if I'm gonna become the next chapter in his legend? Don't be silly. Spence's Bear would be long gone by now. That was 150 years ago. Maybe he has, I don't know, genetic memory. Ridiculous idea. But there's definitely a bear out there, and he's definitely interested in you. You'll just have to take your chances. Says the guy safely inside the wooden cabin. Damn it! You think I want to be in here? I need to get a message out, and this might be the only way. What message? What does this have to do with me contacting my friend? There's more at stake than you and your friend! Be 
Please, Mackenzie. Get me those boosters. I'll fix the radio, and the first call we'll make will be to Perseverance Mills. I promise. Okay. I'm on it. I'll be back with the transponder parts. Watch your back, Mackenzie. What do I have to worry about? I have a legendary 150-year-old demon bear hungry for my blood. Bullets don't stop him, but I'm armed with basically a medieval weapon, which I'm sure will do the trick. I'm stuck in this winter wasteland where lights in the sky make the power flicker and electronics explode, and the only people I seem to meet are all slightly crazy. And this is all after I crashed my plane deep in the wilderness and somehow lost my ex-wife along the way, and I'd really kind of like to find her back. Don't forget about the rules. <laughs> Let's get on with it. Yeah, so Mackenzie has a pretty good understanding of what the hell is going on, and I also called it. I knew we were going to have to go to these radio towers to, like, boost the signal or something. I was hoping we'd only have to go to one, but I know there was two on the previous map and one on this one. So hopefully that'll be pretty straightforward. Um... We've got a lot of stuff. Why is this sticking up? Oh, the snare is like set. Um, okay. I am going to get some food in us, um, get us kind of set up, repair some stuff for our next session. And then, um, you know, next time we, or the next time I start recording and we start going through this again, we can start getting the transponders. And we're actually going to start on this map so that we can you know, get some fresh faces around here. <laughs> All right. I will see you guys next time.